hi everybody green rivers here and it's now time for the new edition of weezer wednesday and today we are diving into their third full-length album the green album six years after the criticism and the downward spiral that was pinkerton that involved a hiatus due to criticism uh, evolving around Cuomo and Diamond Spiral, you know the deal. It's basically had a hard time. And now they're back with the, they were back with this new album there, the Green Album, in 2000. And 10 tracks said to be their best by pretty much a lot of people, especially Weezer fans. And in my opinion, is not. Personally and figuratively, I think it's one of the most mediocre and one of the most forgettable albums that Weezer has put out. I'll even say this, it's forgettable, it's more forgettable than Harley. And Harley's not really even that forgettable, but said by everybody. Harley's forgettable, oh, Harley's just cheesy, oh, Harley's just a bad album. I mean, you can listen to the album, it's catchy as hell. But this is not really what I call catchy. It has more of a punk, pop punk style that tries to do that, but sounds more pop in general than, you know, pop punk, like in general. Now, they're not new to pop punk, but they certainly tried it way more. And this was during a time when the Blue Album, that tried pop punk too, pretty much like in had a time where the alternative music was pretty much at full swing with bands like Nirvana and just like Smashing Pumpkins and stuff. Honestly, can't name anything right now. Even after the death of Kurt Cobain, they were still going strong for about uh, almost like the end of the 90s. Now we're at 2001 though. Things have changed. Rock has pretty much gotten more grittier and horror, new metal, emo. Emo's dead. Sorry, Matthew, but that's the truth. But, yeah, and I'm not saying they didn't want emo in here. The biggest problem I have with this album in general, it's just that it's mostly forgettable, like I said. Most of these songs, I can't really talk in depth because they're that forgettable. The beginning track, Don't Let Go, is forgettable. Paragraph is forgettable. Smile is forgettable. The last song on here, Oh Girlfriend, is basically a disappointing ending and a kind of abruptive ending to this whole album. Glory's Day, okay, that's honestly a good song, decent song. It's one of the few, very few songs I like here. Even their biggest hit, Hashpipe, is tedious and annoying to me. The lyrics sound like they were written by a nine-year-old that's trying to be, like, serious but also write jokes at the same time. It's it's just feels bland. But the major criticism, well, the major compliment I'll give it is that it has good guitar work and polished production too. It's one of the cleanest albums that we have put out. But mostly, when people talk about the Green Album, it's mostly going to talk about the guitar work because it's it's much more crisp, it's much more distorted, it's, it's rough, like. And it'll pretty much continue on in their later album, Maladroit. But, but before here, it had more of a pop-punk feel, while Maladroit had a more grungy feel. It pretty much sound pretty much kind of like, like the Blue Album, honestly. Except more emotional, like Pinkerton. This, however, feels a bit stale, if I have to be honest. I still like Island of the Sun. It's a pretty decent song. It's pretty catchy. You know, I'll still enjoy it no matter what. The song Crab, while a bit stupid, if I have to be honest, I think it was a decent song. I think it's more standout than any other song here, other than Island of the Sun and Glorious Day. And I, 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 that's it. That's pretty much how much I can give it. It's that mediocre. It's that forgettable to me. Personally, I just don't like it because it's just unforgettable. I should not say this anymore, and me, myself, kind of hate comparing this to their earlier albums, but at least those albums took a bold risk. They were much more catchy and had hard work on them as well. This feels like it just took a very soft spot on their discography, and it's annoying to just think about that. 
And honestly, I just don't like it. So, 4 out of 10. My final score on this one. And next Wednesday, I'm probably just going to review Maladroid. So, bam, bam, bam.